What is going on, Ant Crew? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to a brand new exciting video. I hope you guys, I hope the Ant Crew are having a fantastic day. All right, so today this video is going to be hyper speed. I started a new job this week. I have school going on. I actually have other editing jobs as well. And oof, it is pretty crazy. My life is just unraveling before my eyes. And it doesn't look that good. No, but seriously, my schedule is kind of crazy right now, so I have to make this video pretty quick. So you guys already know it. My man JR Ollie dropped a new video. Oof! And it was fire as per usual. And he had a couple effects in this video that were totally awesome, but one that we're gonna hone in on. And that effect is this text glowing and tracking effect. If you guys are not tracking your text by now, what are you doing, man? Tracking text is not only super easy to do, but it also instantly instantaneously makes your videos way more professional if you guys are not subscribed then hit that subscribe button let's see if we can get 1000 likes on this video and i think that's about it so let's hop into after effects and start talking about this effect All right, guys, so just inside of Adobe Premiere Pro right now, and I'm just getting my clips ready. I'm just gonna be using one clip. This is a clip from a wedding that I shot this weekend, and we're gonna be doing some quick text tracking. So I'm gonna right click on the clip and hit replace with After Effects Composition. All right, guys, so we've got our clip inside of After Effects, and the first thing we're gonna do is just make our text. I'm gonna hit Control T on PC or Command T on Mac, and then it's gonna bring up my text tool, and I'm just gonna write up some text. We'll call this JR Ollie Track. And then I'm going to change the color of the text by selecting the text, going over to this character section. Right now it's black, and I'm going to change that to white. Then I'm going to scale it up. And then a really useful tool to have is this align feature. If you guys don't have this align feature on the sidebar, go over to window, and then make sure the check mark is checked by align. And then I can go over to align, select the text layer, hit this align center, and align vertical. And now my text is perfectly aligned in the middle. Now what we're going to do is go over to effects and presets. The effect we're trying to mimic is this red glow around the text. So we're going to go over to effects and presets and just type in glow. It's going to be over stylize and drag that on top of your text. Now we're going to go over to color A and we're going to change that from white to red. And then we're also going to change color B to red as well. And now what we're going to do is go over to this glow based on and change it from color channels to alpha channels. And now you can see we've got a little bit of glow going on right there. We're going to go over to glow radius and I'm going to bring this up. We'll say about 302. And then we're going to also go over to the glow intensity and boost that up as well. As you guys can see, that's pretty close to what JR Ollie had. Just mess around with that until you get it to the colors that you'd like. And now I did make the glow red because that's exactly what JR Ollie did. But because it doesn't really go with the clip that we have, I'm going to change it to this green color in the background. So I'll do that for both A and B. And now that just doesn't clash quite as hard with the clip that we have. And now I'm going to go down to my bottom clip. I'm going to right click and hit pre compose, move all attributes into new composition. Once I've done that, I'm going to right click on it and hit track and stabilize and then hit track camera all right guys so now i just finished tracking and you're gonna see all these different track points on here and what we're looking for is a target directly in the center of the frame i think this one's pretty close so i'm gonna right click and now you could do create text and camera and then go through and create the text just like we did i prefer never to do that just because i think it's kind of finicky and doesn't always work out and you could use a null but i've always had the best results by creating the solid and a camera going up to the solid right clicking hitting pre-compose leave all attributes in new composition not move all attributes okay and then go down to your text layer copy it by hitting Control c delete it go into your pre-comp paste that text layer turn off the solid and just adjust the text in the center of the frame now go back to your main composition and as you can see our text is super warped right now to fix that select the text layer hit r on your keyboard and then just adjust the different aspects of the rotation the y rotation about there We'll adjust the Z as well. Now, for some reason, it seems like the glow has sort of been dimmed. So I'm going to go ahead and add our glow once again, just this new pre-composition layer. There we go. Now the glow is nice and back. And now we're in preview and watch our clip. That is what I'm talking about, people. And I think that is about it for this video. If you guys want to see any more tutorials from JR Ollie's new video, then comment down below and let me know what specific effect you would like me to see break it down. And you guys already know what I'm about to say. If you guys are not a part of the Ant Crew, if you are new to this channel, the Ant Crew is a place for creative entrepreneurs, aspiring editors, aspiring YouTubers, aspiring filmmakers, and just people like that. Growing up, I felt like there's nobody around me who thought like me. I felt like there's nobody who I could really connect with. And that's why I created the Ant Crew to be a place for creative entrepreneurs to come together and inspire one another. I upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so I'll see you guys on Friday. Peace.